Hello there and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and today we are going to be talking about the news. So kind of to make the, I wanted to mix things up a little bit so every week probably once uh maybe once a week or something like that I'm going to go ahead and just talk about some of the big things that happened in the past week and we're going to try to maybe keep this going we'll see if uh, something really crazy comes out for sure i'll talk about it but we'll try to summarize things in one video uh during the given week that i'm making the, the video on and the, i want to start off by talking about jedi knight anakin so when the developers came out to the community and asked us hey what do you guys want us to improve on what characters need a rework tons of people gave their uh, input i actually went ahead and talked about uh in the forum how we should go ahead and do some Empire reworks because they're kind of a mess, they're not the greatest things out there. I had a lot of people bumping up my post and kind of chiming up with me saying, yeah, the, the, a lot of work needs to be done with them. Uh, but one of the big things that the community as a whole talked about was Jedi Knight Anakin. And it's understandable. Uh, Je uh, Jedi Knight Anakin's probably uh, one of the most critical characters in the Star Wars universe. Uh, a lot of it's based on him, especially all the big movies that the, pu the public is familiar with. Anakin had some sort of part in every single one of those movies, even in the most recent one when Anakin's long gone, uh, still influencing Kylo Ren and the events that happened after uh, episode six. So his rework, I have to say, it's not a bad one. It's not like Mace Windu where Mace Windu is still mediocre to somewhat garbage even after a re rework. Uh, Anakin actually is pretty good. Hits like a freaking uh, cannon. Uh, his attack on everyone uh, did like over 5k to me. I actually had the opportunity to fight him in my arena and although the squad as a whole that I fought was pretty lackluster, I was able to obliterate them without losing a single character. Uh, Jedi Knight Anakin was pretty impressive. He kind of stood out he, and he was leading the squad. So uh, don't have footage on that. If I do get a chance to come by that, that uh, individual again, I will record it. Um, but uh, his uh, health and protection it's pretty huge. Uh, his speed is, he's not a slow guy. He's, his speed is at 144, which is pretty, uh, which is pretty decent compared to a lot of other characters out there. Um, one of the things I like was his special ability. Um, you know, our, the B2 super battle droid that was a rhodium for the, this past month. Uh, one of his specials that really, you know, got people going was that if someone evaded your attack, the B2 battle droid had a chance to come in and just mow them down uh, with his attacks. Anakin has something pretty similar. Uh, with his leader ability, when someone uh, uh, dodges your attack, that character that tried to attack the enemy, they will gain advantage. So that's awesome. That's a, it's kind of a nice bonus. It's kind of like how Dooku, when he evades, he gives the character offense up. Now it works on the other side where the, the attacking person gets a bonus. Uh, another thing that I liked, which kind of bounces off the whole B2 Super Battle Droid that I was talking about, is that when a character, when one of your allies falls below 50% health or is defeated, Anakin, when his ability is maxed out, he will gain 100% turn meter to come in and do 75% more damage to you. So he is, he's not a joke. He's not like Mace Windu where you don't have to worry about him. Uh, he's not going to do much. Um, whether or not you should drop what you're doing and work on him, that's a whole different story. I don't think he's royal guard material where when royal guard had a rework done everyone just kind of dropped what they're doing and went from because they knew he was gonna <laughs> redefine what the game is right now um if you go for anakin i have to say from what i saw you won't be disappointed like i was with mace windu uh so if you want to know what i'm doing i happened to f just finished um <laughs> finished wanting uh finish uh farming one of my characters in the cantina I farmed Snowtrooper, don't ask me why I did it. I thought uh, it would be a good payoff. He's not a bad character, but uh, not nothing too crazy at the moment. And since I finished him the day that the rework was put out, uh, I started farming Anakin. So I'm, I'm, about, I'm about halfway done. And with the login rewards involving Anakin shards this month, I feel like uh, it should be an easy month to at least unlock him, especially all the, with all the free shards being distributed. So he, definitely not a bad thing with Anakin. He looks pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about him. If you have Rex, Anakin's going to be a great uh, match with him because he gives bonus damage to uh, clones and Jedis. And one of the downsides of Anakin is that his uh, AOE, he can accidentally expose himself. And if you have Rex, he's going to go ahead and cleanse that. So they would work pretty well together. So I'm um, looking forward to that. I'm farming him. Once I kind of get a better picture, we'll go ahead and do a video and talk a bit more about that. 
Um, next thing on the list, uh, B2 Battle Droid, June 30th, taken out of the Erodiums. Uh, B2 actually looked like a pretty good character. If I had the money, I probably would have farmed it, but I'm not too big about spending over 200 bucks on a single character. But from what I've seen, he's pretty crazy. And in that, in his place, they went ahead and put the Geonosian Spy uh, in his shoes. Uh, so though we don't know too much about him yet, not many people have him unlocked. There was a, a, a following update from the developers saying they're going to have to look into Geonosian Spy's abilities, do some reworking. Not exactly sure what's going on there since uh, his pack has only been out for a day or two. So we'll find out more about Geonosian Spy, whether he has a place somewhere in this uh, Galaxy of Heroes game, and kind of work on that as we go along. Um, if you like buying Chromium packs, Tuscan Shaman, they finally added them over there, so he's a pretty good addition, uh, especially if you have a squad that focuses on damage, that focus, focuses on debuffs. So if you have like an IG-88 lead, uh, Darth Vader, Tuscan Shaman will just go to town with that. Whether or not uh, uh, he's that important, I don't know. There's some better characters in there like, you know, Rex. If you can get Rex, awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, so Tuscan Shaman, if you like Chromium packs, he's definitely not a bad buy there. And um, here's a debatable thing that what happened recently. Dengar, he was last month's um, character of the month. Uh, I actually unlocked him, you know, just by going through the the daily login rewards. And um, he seems cool on paper. He seems pretty cool. But the problem is, which is really taking people off, is that they put him in the guild store. So it's already bad enough. You like feel like you have to get Ray. And then after you get Ray, you feel like you have to uh, save your uh, money to farm gear, uh, which takes a lot of credits. And now they add another pretty cool character in the guild store, and they put Dengar in there. So uh, it's really hard to say what you should do with your money. Personally, I would definitely farm Ray if you didn't, if you did, haven't already. Ray is just amazing. She's used for everything. Can't go wrong with her at, at this time. Um, whether or not uh, Dengar is important, uh, it's kind of up to you. Um, but uh, a lot of people, especially if you're having a hard time getting good gear, you might want to consider holding off on Dengar and just kind of farm for gear. Um, but that's it's all it's all based on your situation for the most part. And one thing that was really cool that they released this week, uh, I'm going to put this in the good section of what they did. They removed the profit mining event, and probably some of you are wondering what the heck that was. And yeah, exactly. It wasn't really that popular. Popular. All it was is that you would spend like 24 energy to get very little credits. It wasn't anything special. So the, the developers went in and they created a new uh, event that would happen once a week. And uh, it's uh, pretty much it's like a raid. It's, uh, it's called the credit heist. And essentially, what you would do is you have to have a, about yeah, five scoundrels that are at least level 50. Um, or they could be a little bit under as well, but um, they rec they recommend having level 50 at least. And you have the chance of getting either 300,000 credits a week or 1 million credits a week. And that's pretty crazy. Um, the public sentiment wasn't the greatest. I mean, this, this event just came out. Scoundrels aren't really the thing. I mean, people have their Chewbacca. They got, you know, um, very basic characters like that. Cad Bane, I had him maxed out actually just because he came out in Galactic War. But even with him, I could, couldn't could clear the first event. And it, it, it's a pretty tough event. It's really hard to actually get past it. And people weren't too happy about it. But if you're at the point of the game where you really don't know what to farm, you may want to consider getting some scoundrels up. Um, especially, you know, since a million credits a week. I don't know how I feel about that, letting, letting that go by. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money especially in this credit crunch game and then eventually you know we know the cap's going to be increased um and it's it's going to be awesome to have that um that little war chest going on so uh, i wasn't able to complete it some people were able to uh so i i am going to put this in the good section it doesn't require energy it's it's a better replacement than um the profit mining that happened before so it's a good thing i think in my opinion uh the big thing which i am super excited for they're adding another assault battle uh, which as you remember before it was, um, what was it? It was Rebels and Clones versus the Empire. And, you know, it was pretty tough for a lot of people. Again, Rebels, they weren't, Rebels and Clones, they're not the most popular characters to farm. So a lot of people had a hard time. I fortunately had a decent squad to complete it. It was a pain. I barely, like, would, like, scratch my way by. Uh, but the 10 Vader shards and uh, the, the huge credits you would get at the beginning was super worth it. Uh, and this time, it's going to be uh, Empire and Droid characters versus Ewoks. 
And so I feel like this will be much easier for people to uh, accomplish. A uh, one, uh, droids. I mean, uh, especially with the pre the previous meta that was going on, everyone had some sort of droids. IG88, IG86, HK. Um, those are some of the big droids that people really had for the most part. Uh, and then people have Darth Vader, most likely at this point in the game. Uh, and then you, the other characters. Um, I mean, they're a bit up in the air. Not, not everyone farmed Magma Trooper, uh, so. The characters are easy to farm in my opinion, and a lot of people have the character, so I feel like this event will probably get some better public sentiment out of it. And you get another 10 shards, and I am so close to getting a 6 star Vader. I'm currently at 72 shards, uh, after this event I'll be at 82, and then I just have to wait for some random drops either through the shard shop or Galactic War to get into 6 stars. So who knows, maybe tomorrow the day after. Uh, I'll see Vader pop up in the shard shop and I I'm gonna record a video on this kind of show my first round going through it with my max style Empire team. I fortunately worked on an Empire team for the longest time so I am ready to go. So uh, looking forward to that and we're getting, yeah, I, I like the fact that they're giving us more challenges to get Vader to six stars because um, there hasn't been much out there to help you get Vader up. Um, so and then here comes the bad news. Uh, bad news number one. Tebow, oh geez, they completely messed Tebow up. Uh, a lot of people relied on Tebow for the raid, and with this one of these updates they put out this week, it totally ruined Tebow's uh, stealth ability. Then, as you know, Tebow needs to be stealth in order for his turn meter stripping to happen. So it made it very difficult for him to go stealth and then go ahead and attack people and strip their turn meter. So um, people are quite upset about that, and apparently they're still trying to fix that to this day. Uh, so hopefully they get that done soon. I know, I believe, um, I think they actually issued out some, um, some like, uh, like sorry for the inconvenience, here's some money type of thing to kind of compensate for that. Um, but yeah, people are kind of missing out on uh, his special ability here. Uh, the next thing that turned out to be a complete disaster was Galactic War. So, um, so yeah, it's funny. Uh, Galactic War. I just made a video on it a couple days ago, and it was a, it, it was it's been a piece of cake for the past two three weeks, however long it's been. And I even said that Galactic War has been through an up and down sequence. So we were at an up part for a couple weeks, and now we're at a down portion. And pretty much the developers came out, and they uh, pretty much said that Galactic War is meant to provide a real challenge to the players, and it's meant to be hard. Well, apparently it's so hard to the point where your sixth battle is up against uh, a max out droid lineup with b2 and jawa engineer at the sixth battle and um so that's that's apparently their idea about where galactic war should be and it's it's turned away a lot of people i know uh, one person in my guild just said they're done playing this game because galactic war has just been unbearable and um uh, so whether or not this is going to be like this for a while, it's uh, hard to say, but the, the public isn't enjoying this. I personally am not enjoying this either. Um, Galactic War has been, it feels too much like a chore. The rewards aren't there. Um, I mean, it might be worth going through the challenge if they would give you like a Vader shirt uh, at the very end once you complete the, the whole entire Galactic War sequence. Um, but with just these basic rewards and, you know, getting a Coruscant Underworld Police shard at the very end, it's not really worth it, and I can understand the frustration there. So hopefully they go ahead and retune this to something a bit easier. I actually liked it where it was before. Um, I feel like that was appropriate for the amount of awards you were getting. Um, now it's... I still, I'm still able to complete it. The, my, the strategies I offered to you, they could still be applied uh, to this day. But it's just the, the challenge is a bit, it's a bit tougher now. And the last thing that we have to talk about too is the there was a raid reward exploit that occurred uh, earlier this week. So there was a period that EA I went through some maintenance. They went uh, went ahead and like you know took care of the game, whatever they had to do in the background, which is fine and dandy. However, there was a period of time, uh, about an hour, uh, like a 30 minute to an hour slot or something like that, where people who got their raid rewards during that time, they were able to claim them like, uh, like, like uh, as many times as they could. So if they happened to get like furnace salvage, they were able to redeem that like 20 times over, 50 times over, and they get all those guild currency, all those credits. If you're doing tier seven raids, you're getting all these Han Solo shards and the community went ballistic and uh you know, pretty of course you know ea they, they made a public statement they kind of downplayed the event saying only so many players did this um 
And even so, a lot of those so many players, those are people in your top 100, top 200 peop, uh, teams. Those are the super dedicated people that um, kind of ruin kind of ruin how the game plays. It, you know, that's where it's most competitive. And advantages like that, they just can't go unchecked. So they went ahead and they temporarily uh, suspended those people who redeemed a lot of those uh, rewards during that glitch period. So which is good, they took back some of the rewards. Apparently they nerfed like people's royal guards and stuff like that to the point where you're 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 going to be put several weeks back. So the response was pretty good. I I mean, not sure if it's the best one. People were still kind of irritated because not everyone saw this type of punishment to them. But um, at least they tried to take some additional action to address this. But um, but again, yeah, this was another thing that people were saying. If they don't fix this, I'm done. I'm gonna get try to get my money back because people were able to get hundreds of dollars of free stuff just because of a little glitch so they did this in an okay manner i feel like it could have been could have went a lot better with a, a different type of approach but at the same time it could have went a lot a, a lot worse so yeah two more things i want to talk about really quick things um next thing you guys should be informed about is that the droid collar mach 5 uh, droid collar that was uh, in shipments for the past couple weeks that has been removed and now you can try to get a, a scanner inside of shipments instead. So a lot of characters need that. Qui-Gon needs that to get the gear 11. Um, Tebow, I believe, needs that. Um, if you're like me and you're kind of interested in getting Magma Trooper to be somewhat useful, he needs two of them at, uh, at gear 10 to actually get 80% potency finally. Old Ben needs it. So a lot of characters need this. Um, our uh, Royal Guard needs it as well. So a lot of characters need it. Uh, as for me, I've been saving crystals up from Arena specifically for that. Each day I get about 400 to 500 crystals, depending if I make first, second, or third. And I've been saving those specifically just for the big gear and the shipments. Uh, if you can somehow reel in that much money, I would suggest you do, you do the same thing. Uh, and if you want to spend money, that's... Again, it's more up to you. If you want to fork over to five to ten dollars, that's uh, totally up to you. And uh, the, everyone's got a different situation of money. Ten dollars to me is probably is different to you. Um, but uh, so yeah, it's, I I don't personally approve of this method of giving uh, distributing the gear out. But it is better than having nothing besides the the raid uh, the the guild store because if you do the guild store, it's going to take forever. Uh, I was able to catch two Mach Five droid collars. Definitely helped me out there. Um, Again, I actually used uh, used one for um, RG uh, and used one for Qui Gon Jin, and it, I've seen a, at least a big improvement in my arena squad on top of the fact that it was already good before. So uh, if you can, I would definitely try to grab a scanner if you have the crystals. If you want to fork over to five to ten dollars, um, kind of look at your situation, and I think it's better than spending it on a rhodium and chromium. That's for sure, especially since you can uh, getting gear up is probably the most critical thing you can do right now. Last thing I want to talk about, uh, I want you guys to tell me what you think this is, but um, when, in an update that the uh, developer put out yesterday, kind of like their summary update, what happened this week, they put this little picture in as a teaser. And what I think it is, it looks like like a data card. Like when you go, you know, like bronzium packs or the rhodium cards or the chromium pack cards or whatever, it looks just like the shape of a card, but it looks like you have to fill in like these different keys. So maybe, when you accomplish some sort of challenge, you get like one key that you put in. And once you get a collection of it looks like, I don't know, like six or five keys, this data card opens. What it opens, I don't know. Not even sure if that's what it even is, but I have a pretty it, I have a pretty good feeling that it has some, it's like some sort of unlockable data card. And it sounds kind of cool, assuming it's not like one of those, like uh, uh, which credit cards uh, have you used already? Maybe you have to use six different credit cards to unlock it. Hopefully it's not something weird like that. But uh, if it's something like what I'm thinking where you unlock a character, get shards for like a shard pack, that would be pretty cool. Especially if it's something you can do, do through a, just a normal free-to-play manner. But uh, on top of all that, uh, that kind of wraps up our first session of the news. Let me know what you think about some of the stuff. Let me know if you have Anakin, how's he going? How does Galactic War feel for you? What the heck is this picture that I just showed of this uh, data card looking thing? Yeah, let me know how you think all that is. And leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.